So, hi and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at the different ways to get into the vehicle. And as you obviously know, this is the main way to get into the vehicle is by using your key fob by pressing the unlock button right here in the center. This is the lock button because it's easily accessible when, you, when it's in your pocket. You can just feel for the first button and that's your lock button. And it also has two other buttons on there. We're not going to discuss those buttons, but we're just going to be discussing unlock and lock. That's the one way. The second way is if you press, if you look at the key, the key's face where the badge is, there's a little bit of a lever there. If we press that lever, we can slide out a physical key. And this key goes at the back of the door handle. When you pull the driver side door handle out, you'll see on the side there's a there's a there's an entry hole for a key and this goes in there. So that's the second way. And then we have a third and final way which is the coolest way at the moment and that is by using your mobile device. And uh, I'm gonna just switch over to the mobile device that I've set up for demonstration. So here we are at the app now and uh, we'll discuss the app, right? So you gotta listen closely because there's a lot of this things about this app that is actually not cool I don't I don't like this app to start off with because it's made me change my password like a million times I can't remember how many times I've changed my password because this, uh, this app has not been running on my phone it, it ran on my phone probably like for the first 10 days of ownership and then after that it was like doing crazy things initializing all over the time it's like yeah it really killed my spirit about this app so don't expect to hear good things from me about this app because i am not happy with this thing the second thing is the, i don't know why the procedure for initialization obviously it's because it's a motor vehicle that costs thirty thousand pounds you know tax included so that's why you know it's a lot of money and they can't just mess up with an app that's gonna let anybody just that's the reason why it's a security feature initializing the device with the app is a huge feature on the app on its own you know I'm, I'm, I'm telling you straight up the developers had to think about that it two e two emails with two different passcodes and then you'll be basically set up and you'll see the screen but if you see the screen at the moment discard whatever I said you've obviously went through that painstaking a setup process so you're in the app okay I'm gonna assume that you are in the app and once you're in the app and you do not see swipe for digital key right here if you don't see that on your app then you haven't set up your digital key and to set up your digital key you're gonna hit the little car icon at the top of the screen on the right hand side it's gonna give you your car and you're gonna to go to manage and once you're in the management, you're gonna go and click on subscriptions. And once you're in subscriptions, you'll scroll down and you'll see Honda Digital Key. Mine's already activated. But if yours is not activated, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna look something like that. It's gonna say add, okay? So if you have your car for the first year, it's gonna say zero, zero pounds and zero cents. So in actual fact, it's free for the first year. So you'll just hit add, but don't forget after hitting add, you'll have to scroll down and check the terms and conditions and confirm your location and sharing. And so then you'll say pay. We need to use that digital key, right? So how are we going to use that digital key? We're going to go to our car, blah, blah, blah. That's easy. But now what if we got another driver, right? We need that other driver to also have access, maybe your wife, maybe your uncle, your mom, your dad, whoever, your brother. Then we're gonna go and, say, and click on the car icon again and go manage. And we're gonna say invite drivers, right? So I've set up a generic driver. If I said invite driver, and there's all these details I have to complete, the driver's email, access and privileges. You see, so when you add driver, 
if you if you want to check if your digital key is properly set up the easiest way to find that out is to try and invite a new driver so if you've tried tried that and and it hasn't given you this option of what privileges that driver can have which is a digital key only or all features uh, you know if you don't see digital key then it means that your digital key is not set up so check that first and try and set up a driver and if it doesn't give you all features or digital key only then your digital key is not set up uh, properly right so then you're gonna go and send the driver will get an email they'll install the app they'll set up an account and then they'll be set up in the app right so now then we have an invited driver so then this is where we're gonna go from here I'm gonna show you the car and I'm gonna show you how to get into the car using this keyless function that person's gonna see this on their phone if you share the key with them they'll be wherever and you'll be wherever but they'll get they'll get an invite they'll sign up on the app they'll do all the things that they need to do and they'll see this so it's all about Bluetooth really and the other Hondas the older ones with NFC in the connections menu there is an option for um, NFC but in the Honda E there's only connections for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so as you can see I am still struggling this is like 20 minutes later I'm still struggling to get into the app basically the app gave me an issue why uh, it would not sign in again with using my uh, password or my uh, fingerprints uh, basically bombed out on both of those options and then I basically logged out of the app which is a, a whole different thing basically I'll have to reinitialize now so now what is happening it's struggling to log in and this has been happening now for 20 minutes and I'm actually getting really frustrated but I will be patient with this app for today because I want to finish this video so just bear with me so uh, actually I'm gonna let it roll just to show you I'm not talking crap that this app is actually not worth I don't know why they are giving me this key for free for a whole year but I can't use it why they give me a lot of the functions for free for a year but I cannot use it I'm actually thinking of emailing Honda about this and asking them to give me another year for free because obviously I, I couldn't use it this year <laughs> it's like it's already five months of ownership and I haven't been able to use this app I mean what if I was out somewhere right now right and I and this was happening what if I'm just putting it out there but in the meanwhile while we're waiting for this thing to initialize let's just talk about the rest of the app maybe inside the car it's 22 degrees Celsius let me just see if the app is lying about that what's the temperature in Glasgow at the moment um, 12 degrees Celsius I really doubt that the car is inside 22 degrees Celsius uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit skeptic 22 degrees Celsius like you know proper nice weather <laughs> so yeah that's 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 I think that's a lie eh? 119 miles I think that is actually accurate because I know I just charged the car it was 100 120 when I left the charger and I just drove from the charger home so that is definitely correct um, it's unplugged that is definitely correct it's not unlocked it's locked I don't know why it says it's unlocked but you know it's it's locked that that's so it's telling it's flashing to say you know dude it's unlocked it's unlocked but it's not dude it's not <laughs> just relax uh, car locator let's see I don't think it's gonna find my car uh, I don't want to be funny or anything I don't want to talk nonsense about this app uh, oh okay I think that's correct that's actually where I am so this is like a, the discovery button at the bottom is basically for when you want to see new things about the Honda Honda gives new updates so that's all of those things the safety is the geofence which you can put like a, a fence around your vehicle if somebody else is using it you could say that the car doesn't move out of a certain range 
and then it will tell you that the car has actually moved out of that zone. So, for instance, if you gave the, the key to your kid and you said, you know, I'm going to Johnny, and Johnny's house is a mile away, you can set the radius to cover Johnny's house, and, um, you know, anywhere in between, though, obviously. So, if, if, you, if you're staying closer, I don't know, um, I've tried to set the geofencing on. The lowest you can go is 0 0.5 miles. So just have that in mind. If you wanted your kid to use the vehicle and you didn't want him to go further than maybe 250 uh, yards, that's going to be impossible, right? So, or a quarter of a mile, uh, the only the distance, the, the shortest distance you can do is half a mile, which is quite far if I wanted to steal your car. <laughs> you know, you're going to look for me uh, for a while. Uh, so the dashboard, so as we are in the dashboard right now, we'll just look at this, some of this information of this charging status, I've charged it's 98%, it's not charging at the moment, and that is true, true, true. Vehicle security, and we've got the windows here, and it says that my driver's side is closed, closed, but my back windows are open. And that's not true because I know my back windows are not open. I've just checked actually. And driver side front door unlocked. Unlock this is not true because I've locked the car a few times already <laughs> just because this car, this app keeps on telling me. Uh, just because this app keeps on telling me that it's, it's, it's unlocked. It's crazy. It's all closed the bonnet and the boot, obviously, because I know it's closed. So a lot of these things are just, I don't know, real just maybe gimmicks in the, in the big scheme of things. Leave it in the comments. And as you can see, we're still trying to log in there. But I'm going to forget about that. I would have loved to show you from that menu how to unlock the vehicle. You know, because basically those settings that, that I showed you. Uh, it's nice to see that those little functions are on the phone. And that's all that the person can actually do. They can... They cannot do more than that, you know what I mean? Um, that's why it's probably better if you invite a driver to not let them have all the features, all these features that you have in the app. It won't be on their app. They'll only see what you want them to see, which is the digital key and all of the functions that the digital key has. Maybe let's just go to the car and let's unlock the car with the primary device and screw the secondary device right now because it's... I mean, sorry, if that, was my, if that was my wife, girlfriend, somebody important that, that I gave the key to, and they're not, unable to use the car. I've sent them an email about the connectivity since they told me to connect with them on the app store. So let's go to the car and let's start the car only with this device. I'm going to leave the key uh, right here. Can't wait for the day that I actually come up with the with the app for my Fitbit so that I can actually leave my keys somewhere else you know uh, at the moment my spare key is somewhere else so I've, I've only got one key and that key is always on me so you know so I'd love to leave both keys at, a, at another location so we're at the car now and I just want to show you what I was talking about earlier that's the keyhole where your other key on your key fob goes into so that in the event that your battery dies and you're out you can at least get into the car with the key I don't know what happens after that I'll show you in a while but that's where the key goes into but let's get back to the matter of at hand so which is basically this app and um, so I'm gonna swipe for the Bluetooth enabled you have to be in the you know Bluetooth range of the vehicle so I'm in Bluetooth range of the vehicle and I'm going to tap on that start starting enable Bluetooth to use this vehicle Bluetooth is off on this phone it's, it's connecting to my Bluetooth connecting to my Bluetooth it's done okay back to the app so that's the screen that you see when you add the vehicle basically the same screen that the 
second device was uh, showing. So now we are here, so now we're going to unlock the vehicle. It's unlocked. Getting into the vehicle. It's asking us for a pin, which the vehicle is giving us. As you can see, the vehicle is giving us a pin 0167. So now six, seven. I set my pin and boom, I don't have any keys on me. I'm not, I'm not able to start the vehicle though. What just happened? <laughs> Something just happened. Um, something just happened. So it's asking me for a pin again. Two zero seven four. Submit pin. Submit pin, man. Cool. So now it's saying. Can read that it says to start please press and hold brake pedal then press power button press and hold brake pedal pressing the power button boom 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 and my vehicle is ready to go and i don't have a key on me right so this is keyless so it's interesting to note that only one person can have a keyless function including you so five people can be connected as drivers, but only one person at a time can have a key. So nobody can say, ah, oh, it wasn't me. So I think that's, let's take a drive. Because I tried earlier on to, while I was trying to set up the secondary uh, driver, when it was still working, I should have actually hit record then, but I didn't have my camera with me. But I could unlock the doors, although I couldn't, I couldn't use these features. And that was because I didn't have my digital key properly set up. So you got to check that when you add the digital key, scroll down and add and accept all those uh, permissions at the bottom. Um, then you'll be able to use it. Look, I'm in drive. So let's, I'm going to take a drive. I obviously don't want to be reckless with a camera around my, around my neck. And um, I actually haven't set the camera up to be in this position. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to U-turn, it's quiet, it's at night time, you know, it's dead quiet, so I'm just going to make a U-turn right in front of me, just to show you that I'm actually driving without the key, you know, I'm driving without the key right now, and um, just, you know what I mean, I'm driving without the key, this, I'm, that's it, you know, I'm just going to park again. Just to show you that I'm actually driving without the key. This keyless driving. This was this is keyless driving. So, you know, I don't want to go on a long expedition. That's not gonna. That's not gonna be uh, clever. You know, it's, it's defeating the whole point. It's just about I'm having access already without the key. So I'm driving without the key as well, and I'm guessing I'll be able to drive. But you know what? I'm just skeptic. <laughs> drive around the corner. And then my app doesn't work and then what and then i'm stuck around the corner no way that's not gonna happen not now you know <laughs> but that's not gonna happen <laughs> they're not gonna get me like that you know you can um uh, obviously it would have been cooler if, a, if there was more functions you could withheld from the person like if, if you knew your your little cousin loves to play music loud and just go crazy you could prohibit them from using the you know the 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 the, the system at more than a certain volume you know like you say you, you curb them to 20 20 volume <laughs> something like that that would be cool that would have been really helpful but now i'm just afraid if i go around the bend and um you know and my car doesn't connect to my device it's gonna be a scary thing because then my car is stuck there you know what i mean and uh trying to set up the secondary uh, um driver early on I had to there was so much uh, see now okay so I have to put in another so if I re, if I want to restart the vehicle <laughs> this is uh, weird so uh, you know every time you'll have to restart you'll have to punch it in again uh, punch in another password um, uh, and, uh, 
So now every time you want to start the vehicle, you gotta punch in another code. So every time you want to start the, every time that person, this is gonna be, this is not gonna be cool for me. I won't enjoy this. So it's not actually activating. Okay, there we go. It's taking a while. Must be. You see, this is just dodgy. I wouldn't want to do this. I don't think you should be doing this. Uh, I don't know. It's up to you try it out but for me this is not going to work um, uh, already like I tried to start my vehicle it, it was not starting it had this lag which I don't think that's going to be appreciated I, I don't like that you know I don't like to be lagged you know what I mean so that's not going to be cool you know so obviously you you got to look at all those things and think to yourself is it worth it to trust technology so much that you'll be stuck somewhere and have to take a taxi home and I mean it's cool to do all these things you know but uh, is it practical you know I don't think I, I can trust this I mean don't tell me about my signal stream I don't think it's the, it's the Wi-Fi or the network or anything my Bluetooth nothing you know so um, yeah what else can I say I'm in the car and I've got in here without a key. My key is not with me. And so that's really cool. I wanted to make this video a long time ago, actually, about the key, uh, you know, the key function, but I needed somebody to actually motivate me. And I just gotta say thanks to Jacques for mentioning that. Um, and I've got this one busted. I hope you enjoyed the video and like and subscribe and please share my videos as well if you can. Um, love you to share it with people so that I can get more subscribers to motivate me to make more videos and if you got more suggestions please uh, don't hesitate to, to, to write anything in the comments and um, if this was busted or not busted if there's any other questions you want about this I will answer all your questions in the comments because I don't think that I actually covered everything in this video because there's a lot of things that you got to think about when you think about this app it's not perfect first of all guys i'm not gonna pay subscription fees for the next two or three years if a thing is not gonna work you know what i mean so in actual fact i think honda deserves to give me an extra year of subscription because i couldn't use this thing i still it's still iffy you know so anyways um i'll see you guys on the flip side cheers bye bye